What's up? It's Tip Top Fisherman. My name is Keaton Ditchfield and this is It's Tip Top Fishing. What's the plan for today? Today we are going to go to Brandon's house for a bit. Um, we're going to meet up and then we are going to go give our rod away, our rods away. After that, uh, I'm going to go to a venue in four ways to go fishing for anything I can catch. It's not going to be a, a big fish session. It's going to be any fish session. I will show you. Obviously, I'll bring you guys along with me for the journey. We're on our way to go and drop off our two special rods hey. for our winner, the copious photo, Vincent. So we'll see you when we see him. So we are here giving these lovely rods away. We just want to say thank you to Shiraz from uh, SNZ Tackle for uh, sponsoring these fantastic rods. Yeah, I really think that the challenge video was quite difficult. The three brilliant competitors, but definitely Vincent had so far the best photo as the public decided. And Vincent, well done on the challenge. Thank you. I'm sure there'll be a couple more in the future. And there you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Cool. See you later. It's Tip Top Fishing. Woo! <laughs> Traffic is fun! Traffic! So I've arrived here and I've noticed a lot more weed growth. So I'm going to cast my Deeper Pro Plus and find where the weed is because I do not want my rig to land in the reeds. If it does land in the reeds, uh, it could mark uh, mask my hook point and a masked hook point does no good to anyone so except for the fish because they get away here we go a lot of food. okay so i must make sure my rig is cast at least uh 15 meters away or yeah 15 meters away to be good and then it will not be in the weed that is close to me so um 15 and beyond is fine So we are here with Franco, see who pitched up. What's up guys? <laughs> How exciting. So we are here at, do you want to tell them where we are? We are at a little special place called Lone Hill Dam. Hell yeah, in four ways. And uh, this little beauty might look like she has nothing inside, but she's got some beasts inside here. Mm -hmm. And we're about to take them out. So we've got our pup hoya and our specimen guy. Come I've, on. Yeah, I've got my little um, PVA bag, which is similar to pup hoy just a little different and then you'll probably out catch me left right and center so let's see how it goes <laughs> awesome let's go so there has been a change of tactics um, Franco still got his pup hoy stuff going on um, we've been watching these fish take like leaves and stuff from the surface so I've reeled in one of my rods and we've chucked out some bread. The one fish took my bread and then spat it out. So, uh, I blanked. I don't know if Franco blanked yet, but um, he's still fishing there for a bit. Um, it was so awesome fishing with Franco, he's such a nice guy. And it was nice of him to appear in the video. It's nice of him to say it's okay for us to film him. So this is me refusing to blank. Um, it's the day after and I know it counts as an actual blank because yesterday I didn't catch anything but I'm going back to Lone Hill today and I'm going to catch something. Um, I had the right spots, I had the right rig. The thing is I think I had the wrong rod. The reason why I say that those fish were very spooky and they had been fished before, fished for before and they knew what I was up to. So I now I've got my ultralight um, reel and rod and um, that has got uh, 
five pound line on it and if the fish can see that then they've got supervision <laughs> how's it in the net there you go what a beautiful lone hill mirror it's almost a linear more like a starburst but what a fantastic capture there you go thank you little fish for breaking the blank let's let her go i'm not even going to let this little guy i'm just going to take the hook out there he is Hook out, out, let's take him back. Bye, PC. Can we not go through yet? Uh-uh. Where do you go? Oh, oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and it came off. Oh, well. My rod just went swimming and serves me right for not uh, loosening the, the drag a bit when I wasn't paying attention. Oh, everything nearly went in. My cell phone is nice and wet. Um, looking forward to seeing that. Luckily I brought extra clothes for rehearsal. <laughs> Yo. I would have been sad to see this rod go. Must have been a barbel. Must have been a barbel because it snapped. It snapped a line and right by the hook. So I'm sure it was a barbel with that sharp with the sharp teeth. Okay, so with that momentous ending, ah, looks on my feet. I know. Um, with that big ending, <laughs> see you next time on it's tipped up fishing. Oh, <laughs>